guys, so it is 8.07 p.m. I know it still looks pretty bright out, but there's the time right there. Whoops. It's 8.09. Look at that beautiful sunset. Wow, gorgeous. That's outside my bathroom window. <laughs> okay, let's put the camera back to where I can film this. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my hair up with my hair curlies and then get this face off. <laughs> Okay, so there's that. Next thing I use is a face exfoliating wet makeup remover, face wipe. And I like to use this to get the excess makeup off and then I go in with everything else. So I'm gonna do this first. Doing this, see, look at all that, all that makeup. Doing this just I don't know, it just, in my opinion, makes my Duval um, device here work a little less hard. At least how that's how I kind of take it. If I can get most of the makeup off like this, then that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to help it out so that it lasts as long as possible. And I even try to get as much of the eye makeup off as I can with this. Okay, so for the... Um, my eyelash extensions, I use this wipe to get as close to the lash line as I can because I try to not wet my extensions very often. I wash them with baby shampoo uh, twice a week, but otherwise I try not to get them wet too much other than when I'm in the shower and stuff. Okay. So there's that. Ooh, my hair. <laughs> okay, so look at how nasty that is. That is just gross. So that is just so much more work that the exfoliating machine doesn't have to take off. Okay, so now I'm just letting the water run so it gets hot, and I'm going to take these little round towel rounds that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm going to let them get nice and wet and saturated with the hot water and I'm going to open up my pores again because we want our pores nice and open so that when we put our cleaning products on our face our pores will be open and all the gunk will come out and when you clean out your pores it gives it the appearance of smaller pores because you get all the stuff out and then it shrinks up the hole when all the stuff is out. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to use that Clinique 10 Days to Great Skin sample kit and I'm going to use product number one which is the liquid facial soap and it's mild and I'm going to go ahead and just use that, put that in my hands. So last time I used this last, this time I'm going to use it first before I use my Duval exfoliating device. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this off now. Okay, and now to make sure I have it all off, I'm gonna wet this round again, this round towel. Make sure I got it all off. Okay, now I'm going to use the cleansing brush. I'm not going to use the exfoliating brush this evening. I usually use the exfoliating brush in the morning because it helps for my makeup to look nice and smooth because all the dull skin gets taken off. And since I've already done that today, my skin is still really soft. So now I'm just going to use the um, cleansing brush and I'm going to get that wet. And I'm going to put some of this Clinique cleanser on it.
So once again, for filming purposes, I'm not gonna do this as long as I usually do it. Okay, so see, even though I did all that already, I used the facial wipe, I used the cleanser on my face. Look, I still got gunk all over this. This is still really dirty, so oh my word. That's why this morning I used three cleansers. <laughs> Man, see, look at that, it's clean now. See the difference, wow. So even though you think your face is clean, it's not. <laughs> Okay, once again, I like to finish off with this to make sure I get all the soap off. Okay, so now I'm going to start with step number two of the Clinique 10 Days to Great Skin little sample kit. Clarifying lotion. It's an exfoliator too. So I'm going to put some on my face. Okay, so I'm going to let that soak in. Okay, so now that that has soaked in, instead of moisturizer right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Retin-A cream, and it is 0.50%. This is the middle grade, and I do this every other day. And I'll show you what I do on the days that I don't use this. But I'll just go ahead and put this all over my face. Don't put it too close to the eyes. I'll show you what I do for the eye area here in a minute. So what this Retin-A does, kind of the same thing as I was doing for the TCA peels. It sheds your, it sloughs off your top layer of skin, takes off all the dead skin but it's a lot less peeling, a lot less visible peeling than what the TCA 13 peel did to me. This does it in a more gradual, um, minimal way, but yet the same amount of skin comes off. It's just not a big, huge globs of skin peeling off. It's more like just dry flaking that comes off and a lot of it comes off in the middle of the night. Down my neck a little bit. And in a minute, I'll show you what I do on the days that I don't use this, like I said. Okay, now for the eye area, I take a little bit of this Clinique moisturizer that I used this morning. That was probably too much. And I take some of the Retin-A and I mix it together. Because the Retin-A on its own under the eyes would be too harsh. Our skin is very sensitive under our eyes and around our eyes. So I use moisturizer with it. So there we go. And now I'm going to apply this under my eyes. Okay, so now that I've made that little mixture, I'm going to put this under my eyes. Not too, too close, but closer than I got the Retin-A by itself. Yeah, I made myself too much of a batch. <laughs> So just very gently work that in. I even put it on the top part up here. Retin-A helps to produce collagen in your skin and it tightens up your skin and it just helps overall. Okay, now, since I still have a lot left over on my hand, and since I didn't put moisturizer on my face, this has moisturizer, so I'm going to now put that all over my skin. So that way it moisturizes and it has the Retin-A on it. But first, I wanted that layer of just Retin-A on my face. And now I'm gonna just finish it off with the mixture.
And I'm not saying this is the right way to do it. I'm not saying this is what you should do. I'm just showing you what I do because so many people have been wanting to see what I do in the morning and what I do at night for my routine. And this is what I've been doing. And my face hasn't fallen off yet. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to let that soak in, wash my hands off. So I've been using this Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. When I'm not using the Retin-A, I'm using this product by Platinum Skin Care, and it's a Retinol 10. And so what it is, it's a molecular serum, and um, like I said, it's a Retinol. So it's not as strong as Retin-A, but this is what I use in between those days. I'll use this tomorrow since I'm using the Retin-A today. So just wanted to show you that that's what I do. Eventually, I'm going to be using Retin-A every day. I'm gradually working my way up to it. I was only using it once a week, and then I was using it twice a week, and now I'm using it three times a week. And um, so yeah, and then there'll be times where I'll take a break from the Retin-A, and I'll maybe do the Retinol for maybe a week, and then start back on my Retin-A again. So next what I use is my Fade Bright by Platinum Skin Care and like you saw in my morning skin time regimen I use this twice a day and it's for redness and dark circles and it just kind of helps to even out your skin tone. This has been helping me with my dark circles. I'd say 75% of my dark circles are gone. So I just put that all over my face. Okay, so that's what I do for my face at night. And now I'm going to get my lip scrub again. And we are going to put that on our lips again. Yay! Because when I go to bed, I want my lips to be getting soft overnight. So I'll just go ahead and put it on. Okay, so I'm going to lick that off like I did this morning when I was um, doing my morning routine. Get the excess off from around my mouth. And whoa, this really, really softens the lips. And especially because it has olive oil in it and sugar. The sugar scrubs the dry stuff off and the olive oil moisturizes and hydrates them. Okay, so lastly, I'm gonna go get my pajamas back on because I'm gonna show you what I do for my body at nighttime. Okay, so for my body, I use this product by Donnell. It's AHA20 Body Tingle. It's an exfoliating body moisturizer. So it's an exfoliator and it's a moisturizer and it has like, um, 20% glycolic acid in it and so this also sloughs off your skin just like the Retin-A and the Retinol does to my face. So I'm going to go ahead and apply some of this all over my body. I won't do all of it on camera. I'll just do it on my arms and my decollete area right now and then I'll do the rest off camera. And this really does work. It sloughs off the dead skin off your body because we don't just want to take care of our face and our neck. We want to take care of our whole body so that our whole body stays looking young. We want nice, smooth, pretty, glowy skin. And the only way to get glowy skin is to slough off all the dull skin. So I even put it on my hands because we want our hands to stay nice and young looking. Now I get some and I put it on my decollete area because remember when I was doing my morning routine this morning, I told you I have crepey neck skin right there. So I'm trying to take care of it by doing this. Okay, and of course we've got those cleavage wrinkles from laying sideways, so we want to try to slough off that dead skin and slough off those wrinkles. <laughs> All right, 
So that is pretty much what I'm going to do on camera. I'm going to do the rest. I'm going to put some on my tummy, my bum, my legs, and then I'll be ready to go to bed. <laughs> but before I go to bed, we're going to go watch a little bit more TV, and then we will hit the hay. Alrighty guys, so you got unready with me. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining me and I will see you next time. And if my routine changes, then I will do an updated version of this. But until then, this is what I've been doing. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the description box. If you've used any of these products, let me know your experience with them. And I know that some of y'all are going to say, oh, you shouldn't do this, or oh, you shouldn't do that. But I'm not telling anyone to do this routine that I do on myself. The only reason I made this video is because I had so many requests of what I do for my morning and my night regimen. And so this is what it is. This is what I do for me. I'm not saying that you should do this because it might not work for you. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Don't forget how much I love you. Don't forget to love yourselves and everyone you come in contact with. Alright, good night. Mwah! Besitos!